in our society, we use computer simulations in a lot of aspects of our life. But in medicine, computation and computer modeling has rarely been used. And our goal is to change that. In my lab, we use the power of predictive simulations to generate personalized virtual hearts for diagnostic purposes and also for devising the best treatment for a given patient. When you create the virtual heart, you have to implement the biology of the disease, the different relationships that occur at the cellular and tissue level. And that is where the innovation lies. We were able to uncover a lot of mechanisms to figure out how all these properties combine to give a new flavor of what's happening at the level of the whole heart. And this is really exciting. However, that knowledge in itself was not translatable directly. So we had to figure out how do you you bring it to the clinic. And we figured out that if you have a virtual heart, the ability to subject it to influences, to figure out all these different stimuli that could occur unexpectedly in the patient's life will give us an opportunity to create the best possible treatment scenario. And that's what makes our virtual heart approach so promising because it's not what's happening right now, but what we could predict happens down the road. The outcomes so far are encouraging. Of course, we will have to do a lot more to be able to prove you can make a difference with something so far away from where medicine comes from using computer simulations. What is really important is we are now next to the patient in the procedure room, seeing how the physicians do a procedure that that is guided by our computer simulations. I see the future of medicine as incorporating all these very quantitative analytical approaches and using them to improve human health. We would like to see our technology being implemented in the patient care of tomorrow. This is our mission and this is what we strive for.